Hey everyone, it's Clint. Welcome to Sweetcast. One of these days, somebody is going to get in big trouble for uh, saying somebody else is a white supremacist. One day, this is going to go to the Supreme Court. I don't know when that'll be, what the case will be, but everyone throws around the term white supremacist like it's nothing. And part of the reason is academia has shifted how they're looking at white supremacy versus other things, <laughs> other aspects and basically, they they're intentionally diluting the meaning of it uh, to just mean you know it's it's everyone basically you can't escape it, uh, and that's it's strange because it's a way of they want it both ways. They want the word to be extremely powerful and um, basically condemning anybody that you could label with it, and at the same time, they also want it to be they want it to apply to virtually everybody whenever they need to. So this is shifting definitions and it causes real problems, seriously. So I wanna get into it, but first, Fatals on Indiegogo, look at this. We're still creeping up. Appreciate everyone that's backed the book so far. Help us get to 100K. And uh, I think I think we're gonna do a patch for everybody. I think that'd be a good one to do for 100K. Downcast 3 is coming out soon. I realize Fatals it hasn't shipped yet, but the only reason Downcast 3 is is because the book is finished. We, it's it's done. We might as well ship it out to everybody. And so, yeah, this will be launching June 1st. Sign up for a pre-launch page uh, in the link in the description below, mailing list, all that good stuff. And uh, you're going to want to back this in the first 24 hours because you will get a fold-out poster that's just for those people. All right. So, Rando on Twitter, not important. But the, the important part here is um, that you can actually really hurt somebody's career by making vague statements about them being, you know, a casual white supremacist. Just, you know, casually. Uh, if, you, if you do that kind of thing, it really does hurt. Um, because normal people see this, they'll look and they'll see, wait, I hear a word that Chuck Dixon, what's wrong with Chuck Dixon? And they'll, they'll look at this and a lot of people don't bother doing any research. They don't bother looking into it any further. They just leave it at that. Um, so I'm going to start here at the beginning. Having fully read The Dark Knight Returns, honestly, as a story on its own, a non-canon alternate, alternate future, it's pretty good. It works as an independent story and even as a non-canon Batman story, but it's definitely overrated and overexposed to the character's uh, detriment. I don't know why that would hurt the character, but, you know, whatever. So here's a retweet here. I tend to talk just to hear myself, uh, to hear myself talk. But I was just thinking about the whole Chuck Dixon is a white supremacist thing. What? you Hold on, I'm stopping you right there. Wh what whole thing? What whole thing? This was made up by a few crazy people. I've met Chuck Dixon. I've had him on the stream. That man is not a white supremacist. He's like, he just wants freedom for everybody. That that was his stance when I talked to him. That was it. Uh, Chuck Dixon is a white supremacist thing. That's insane. Why, why would you even jump to that conclusion? All right, it continues. And it reminded me of my thread on Frank Miller. I think his classic iconic work deserves some re-examination in light of his re recent views. What? Frank Miller... What views? What views are you talking about? Uh, it continues on here. It's just that for whatever reason, people talk more about Frank Miller's uh, gen degeneration uh, than whatever Chuck Dixon has going on. Well, I mean, part of that, you kind of answered your own question. <laughs> what what does Chuck Dixon go on? Are you, are you reading anything that Chuck Dixon is doing? That's my question, right? You might... You're probably not. Clearly, you can't name anything. <laughs> you clearly aren't. You're not hip to what Chuck Dixon is doing. All right. This is stupid. Um, <laughs> gosh. And what, what's Frank Miller's degeneration? What exactly is it? This is the problem. So normal people see this and they see, oh, whoa, Frank Miller? What? Wait, what Frank Miller's up to? I still don't know what Frank Miller has done wrong. He had a different opinion than uh, Alan Moore. Well, let's put that in perspective for a minute. Alan Moore 
is as far left as you can possibly be. So for Alan Moore to say <laughs> that uh, Frank Miller is a terrible person politically, what does that even mean? Like any anybody compared to uh, Alan Moore is going to be a right winger. Anybody. So Frank Miller, <laughs> just because he didn't, ag he doesn't agree or he had like, I think it really what this comes down to is that this was uh, the war in the Middle East. This was during President Bush's uh, terms in office. Th they had some disagreement on the war or something, what uh, how it ought to go. I think that's really what it comes down to. And therefore, you know, because Alan Moore disagreed with him, now Frank Miller is a terrible person. He's a degenerate. All right, so Chuck Dixon is too. Why? I well, I don't know. Like right now, he's doing books with Richard Meyer. So is that why? Is that part of the reason why? Um, I guess you know he's he's published some stuff with uh, Vox Day's company, right? But you know what? I've talked I've talked to Chuck Dixon about this, and Chuck Dixon says he doesn't care what anyone's politics are. That's his stance. He does not care. He's there to write. He's there to make comics. That's his, that's his perspective. So if that is his view, you said of his recent views, that is his view. Why, why on earth? Like what, what makes that terrible? What makes that white supremacist? That doesn't, this is ridiculous. And while I personally would not work with Fox Day, um, like at some point you have to draw, you can't do the guilt by association thing. You know, it's a personal preference thing. It, this is crazy. Uh, let's see. Because it continues. Oh, uh, it's odd to me. Because Dixon is in the same camp as Ethan Van Skyver and yet isn't nearly as infamous for the same comic skate garbage. Oh, well, now. At first I thought this was a Vox Day thing, you know, <laughs> but it's not. It's Ethan. So, oh my gosh, this is insane. So here's, first off, let's set that aside for a minute. Let's pretend that uh, we're going to take this seriously and that Chuck Dixon, whatever work he's working on, you know, we clearly don't know what books he's writing, um, but we're going to look at them. We're going to evaluate them based on the people that he associates with. I mean, do you even see Chuck Dixon on, on Ethan's stream? I mean... I know they're on good terms. I assume they're on good terms, but Chuck Dixon, like he just sort of does his own thing. He keeps to himself. <laughs> That's ex I asked him specifically about comics gate, you know, and he just, yeah, you know, I'm just kind of on the peripheral. I, I'm just doing my own thing. That's what he said. Um, this is silly. Anyway, um, the, what's, I mean, this is laughable for sure, but what's scary about it is that again, most people aren't going to fact check. Most people are going to look at this and they're just going to say, oh, wow. Oh, there's something bad. Like This is how shunning works. Uh, social stigma is because you can just make blatant statements that sound dirty. And, um, you know, then it, then it becomes this person is blacklisted from the industry. Uh, that's a bit of a problem. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments below. Appreciate it. Again, don't contact anybody. You know, don't contact this person. It's not important. Um, but we're going to talk about the topic. Anyway, uh, Fatal on Indiegogo, getting close to 100K. And Downcast 3 is launching on June 1st. Man, that's coming really quickly. But this book's finished, so it should be a quick turnaround time. Thanks very much, and I'll see you in the next video.